You reckon he's been in here for how long? We just don't have a clue. Don't when worry, it came, it might have been how did he come in here? It must have come in through. We don't know. We've thought about the exits, the entrances, but right. really, um, but really, there's not really that many ways that it could have gone in. Making our way further and further back into this amazing maze of tunnels, we couldn't believe how an owl could have possibly got in. So he's just in here, and he's on the left. He's just up there in that corner. Okay. Yeah, I can see him already, top left. Yeah. What are you doing, Molly? Hey. Yeah. What a silly place for Wally to go. Well, what are you doing? Hey, how did you get in here? What you doing? What you doing up there? Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Wally, Ollie, come on. Where are you? Where are you? Hey? Where are you? Let's get those feet contained because they're the dodgy bit. I mean, you might be getting mice and stuff. I don't know whether you've got mice here or not. How thin are you? Oh, no, you're quite thin. Very thin. So he needs to come back and have a bit of R&R. &R. But how did you get in here? I suppose you're never going to tell us, are you? you go in there, Molly. Um, so, yeah, he'll come back, check him over. I don't think there's much wrong with him. He's just hungry. So we'll give him some food for a couple of days and then release him back out somewhere around here. Right, guys, we'll leave you in peace. That's absolutely fascinating, actually. They work inside a huge chalk mountain, so interesting place to work, but it keeps very cool. But how the owl got in there, none of us can ever know, because it's really weird. There's no entrances, no exits. It's very odd, apart from some dirty great fans. And he's very thin, so he's been there a while. Hopefully he can come back within the next three or four days. Well, this is the owl we rescued the other day from our cliff face over in near Croydon, from our secret bunker. Um, he was quite dehydrated and, and underweight, so we've been feeding him up for a few days. And now we're going to take him back home, because he obviously knows his territory there, which is good. And he can go back and resume his life. Yeah, can you hang on to there? Now you're going to go... No. Right, got you in the end, haven't we? Don't cluck at me. There's no need to be aggressive. No. Now, there we are. Yeah, you're looking much better now. You didn't like being in, in a rock face, did you? Here you go. Go on. Go on. There we are. Put your wing in. Thank you. Simple as that. So he's now going back home. Hopefully we'll get there just before dusk. And he can go back and get his bearings and resume his life. So, the gates all locked. They've all gone home. But the owl is exactly back to where he was found. Aren't you, Wally? Hey? You're home. Moving around in the cage. Do you know where you are, Wally? Do you know where you are? Okay, well, come on, hey. Look, you're home. Come on. Look at that, straight up that. Uh, that could have been nicer. A little bit fast for the cameraman, but a great release. I hope he doesn't fly down any fan ducting again. Now look, gentlemen, I seem to say you promised me you'd cover up the hole. You've had a security breach again. We've got one outlet, one inlet, and they've both got huge fans over them that are constantly going. So wonder it didn't get whacked as it came through. Oh, it's in a different room this time. Yeah. I'd love to investigate this place. It's fascinating. It's amazing place to sort of work inside a mountain. Okay, so um, you can see him from this window. He's just sitting behind that exercise machine there. Okay, he's on the floor. He might be just tucked underneath that big aluminium okay. wheel there. That might yeah. be him on the left. Oh, there's light. Yeah, he's just there. Excellent, there he is. There. That's not going to be difficult, is it? Wally, what are you doing in there? Eh? So these fans which go round and round and round are quite fast, quite big. Very much so, you wouldn't get an owl going through them. So how, but he must have come in through there you reckon? No, we don't think he could have got in through the fan. So there must be a, a point where someone is leaving a door open and he's getting in or something okay. like that. Uh, people know that they shouldn't be leaving doors open but it does happen. Yeah, but it's going to be at night, he's not really going to be flying that much in the day. 
So it's strange, isn't it? Very confusing. No, 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 don't cluck at me, no. Oh, I love the clucking, I'm a very cross wall. Now, what have you done to yourself, eh? Let's have a look. Where are those feet? He looks... He's a nice size, he's not too thin. Everything's working perfectly. It's weird how he's getting in there, because you say he wouldn't have come through a fan, but... No, 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 come Always contain, everyone's worried about the beak, always worry about the feet, they're far more painful than the beaks. I mean, he's absolutely fine. I mean, we don't normally release owls during the day, but to be honest, he's right where he should be. He can go straight up and, and into the trees at the top. I think we'll just take him out and release him straight away, to be honest. Yeah. Right, we will get him away. Right, let's go and let him go. So hopefully he'll fly that way. You go up there and perch for a bit. You can come out again tonight. You're going to find your secret entrance. All right. Yeah, I shall sit here and get my bearings, and he's off. We'll see, see you in about February on that, right? If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.